Both teams were eager to get this one started and Haiti's Real Hope Academy knew they had a fight on their hands against host club W Connections at the Addo Bolden Stadium. Neither team settled in the early stages as they were still slugging it out literally. That's until Real Hope finally got the ball on the carpet and they went to work. This lovely ball is controlled well by the former Haitian under-20 star Judy Thompson who drifted past the defender and he had enough power on the shot to get it under Julani Archibald in goal for connections for a stunning opener after just two minutes. Real Hope came close on another occasion and they almost doubled up but the sizzling effort drifted wide. But the game changed after that as the Haitians hung back and protected their citadel allowing connections to surge forward in search of an equaliser. They came close on a number of occasions, but they couldn't get anything past the talented Odellas Valendi in goal for the Haitians. It was one-way traffic for the rest of the half, but connections had nothing to show for their efforts and it ended 1-0 at the interval. But in the second half, connections literally laid siege on the Real Citadel, probing for an equaliser that never came. It was looking like backs and forwards in this one as connections piled on the pressure only to be denied by poor finishing or brilliant goalkeeping. It was a recurring theme for connections as they must have been cursing their luck on this day as on another occasion they might have netted at least four or five. Try as they did, it wasn't to be for connections on the night and Stuart Charles Fravier's men would be disappointed but happy still as they more than created chances from which they can take heart of a better result going forward. The other encounter in the group between Arnett Gardens of Jamaica and Club Atletico of the Dominican Republic ended goalless. Ruskin Mark, C Sports Extra. Tough game. We, um, I think we started the first 20 minutes poor. You know, we, we didn't get the right, right um, got off the blocks in the way that we wanted, what we spoke about. Um, I think Haiti came out and played a, a good game. They played a you know, they are a team full of quality, all the Haitian teams that we have played. But I think over the 90 minutes, we, we got into the game, we got our opportunities. And at international football, if you don't take your opportunities, then things happen. You make one mistake and then you pay for it. You know, I think we got enough chances in the game to, to have won the game. We, we contract our players for the season and um, we want to give the young players a chance. We had players who have, uh, have moved on. And it's an opportunity. We, we haven't had enough time with the players. We have had about three weeks training because they just came back on vacation. But um, it's opportunities for the youngsters because that's what we're in the business of football for, to get players opportunities outside. And with a tournament like this, it's there for them to showcase themselves, you know. But on days like today, you have to take your chances.